famine had affected many people. From Ireland to the shores of the Baltic Sea, the soaring cost of food meant it took most of your earnings, which meant the shutting down of much of industry. But no one knows for sure why the rebellion began, why it quickly spread from state to state. When in the mountains and the plains, from Galway to Ukraine, came the rising of 1848. 1848. Pitchfork may be no match for a rifle, but there's nothing that would give the king a fright. As when he looks out of the window, sees his castle burning in the night. But that's just what happened in 50 different countries where the landlords often encountered such a fate. Where from Budapest to Sicily, life would never be the same after the rising of 1848. 1848. Marx and Engels wrote a book which spread as quickly as the flames from which the feudal barons had to flee. From the workers in the cities, from the peasants in the towns, and even from the petty bourgeoisie. United for a time by a common sense of purpose to finally throw off the crushing weight of the dynastic rule of hereditary lords who owned the Europe of 1848. 1848. Tens of thousands died before it all was over. Some say it all ended in defeat. But the landscape was transformed when serfdom was abolished, which is why we don't see history repeat. And the monarchs long remembered when the peasants with their pitchforks came to burn down their estate. And most of them decided the welfare state was better than the rising of 1848. 1848. 1848. 1848.